Hello, my name is Mike Ward. I'm head of content at Script, Pink Sheet, and Invivo. We're here at Bayer Europe in Copenhagen, and I'm joined by Sean Marat, who is Chief Operating Officer at BioNTech, um, one of the largest uh, European uh, biotech companies. Uh, you seem to be growing, I think you said it's like just over 800 employees now. Um, up until recently, if anybody ever asked me to describe BioNTech, I would have sort of say, okay, it's just RNA focused, in, you know, oncology company. This year, you've you've made some announcements you've, in the infectious diseases space. So I guess the first question is, you know, what what's what's that sort of swi uh, switch actually? Uh, What's that about? Yeah, so uh, so it was an obvious choice for us actually because whether you train the immune system to look for and kill cancer cells or look for, protect and and in some cases kill infectious diseases, yeah. it's it's a very similar mechanism. And we, we we have a lot of immunologists in the company, which together with the platform. Yeah. allows us to enter this this marketplace right and I mean is this something I mean you made this you had the announcement and we'll talk about the Pfizer deal in, in a minute but is had you been working on infectious diseases before this year we had and uh, in fact we started uh, back in uh, May 2016 where we started a, a, a quite a large effort with bioanimal health in the infectious disease area, obviously focused on animals. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, Pfizer was our first step into, into a human uh, um, prophylaxis uh, approach. Right. And so that Pfizer deal, I mean, how did it come about? Did, did they approach you sort of thinking, we think your platform um, would be interesting to us? or? Did you actually sort of make a strategic decision that you were going to look for a partner to help you drive your infectious disease activity? Yeah, I think it was a bit of both actually, because we, we most certainly uh, looked to uh, find a partner to help us. Because up until this point, as you, as you quite rightly said, we, we, we've been doing oncology. And so a lot of people in our company are very oncology focused and we needed to supplement that. We've built an infectious disease team but you, not, it's not the same size at the moment as our oncology group and therefore a partner was obvious for us. And Pfizer had read our, uh, read our publications in the oncology area and said hey this could be something that could be also applied to infectious disease just like we were thinking. All right and just to sort of recap, so the headlines around the sort of the Pfizer deal are, are what? Yeah, it was so it was a uh, it was um, it's a license deal. So yeah. Pfizer uh, paid uh, 120 million in upfront, um, well, three components really: upfront investment and uh, near-term milestones, right. and then clinical and commercial milestones of over 300 million and up to double-digit royalties. Right, and the, and the focus specifically prophylaxis uh, of flu. So that's really the focus. It's really to find, uh, to use the platforms to, to um, build a new type of uh, flu vaccine. Okay. Now, you mentioned that uh, you know, BioNTech had got lots and lots of you know, oncology expertise and, and therefore a lot of your staff were focused on that. What have you done to you know, ensure that your you know, getting up to speed with your infectious disease expertise. Yeah, so so we, we've hired expert, infectious disease experts in house, so that helps. We've got the platform technologists, the mRNA formulation uh, scientists, that of course help. Um, but then we 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 look to see if we could expand our network uh, of experts, and that led us to the Penn deal, which we announced this week, which right. was with the University of Pennsylvania. Right. And so could you sort of just you know, recap what the, sort of the key points of that deal are? Yeah, so, so um, Penn is, uh, is a research collaboration uh, where Penn develops for us uh, up to 10 IND ready packages in right. up to 10 infectious diseases. And, and, and we're able to, we're working with Professor uh, Weissman. Advantage of uh, Drew Weissman is uh, he's not only active in infectious disease, yeah. 
Um, but he also uh, is one of the original inventors of one type of mRNA called modified mRNA, right. pseudouridine modified mRNA. Right. So along with one of our scientists, they, they patented that form. And so he's very familiar with using mRNA as a vaccine approach, which is of course great for us because that's very synergistic. And you, I mean, you described it as a, as, as a research deal. So if 10 IND candidates are created, what then happens? Yeah, so then, so then, uh, then we have the right to, to clinically develop those right. and commercialize those. Right. Okay. And, uh, and of course, that's what we plan to do. Uh, this is like our oncology business. We, we are building this business. Right, now, with the Pfizer deal, you're able to you know, sort of describe or discuss some of the sort of the financial details with the uh, the research deal with with UPenn. The, so it's any long, numbers? Yeah, no, uh, we we can't. As usual, we right. can't disclose these because we haven't published them. But the the, the it's a, it's a big deal. I mean, right. it's a major collaboration uh, with Penn. We both parties very committed to multi-year uh, development of right. these infectious disease. Uh, IND ready packages and it's, re it's really that to help us and they, 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 they of course have PEN but then they have all of the networks throughout the United States which gives us additional firepower. So, so infectious diseases is going to be sort of yeah, another pillar of, sort of the BioNTech story? Yes, I think that's correct, yes, yes, okay. yes and, and, and because it's just, uh, you know, at, at the research level it's very synergistic with what we're doing in oncology at the platform level. It's very synergistic. Of course, where it diverges is when we go into the clinic, yeah. different type of trials. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, can you give us some sort of sense of the, sort of the timeline of how you expect this infectious diseases franchise to develop? Yeah, so, we're, so uh, we, uh, we are growing it very rapidly. I mean, we've, we've uh, we did the Pfizer thing, uh, Pfizer deal in, in the summer, in, uh, it was announced in August, and then Penn we've just recently, uh, November announced, and we will take further steps uh, over the next year uh, to 18 months to build this further. So would that be um, you know, commercial um, deals like Pfizer or, or research? Possibly, like, I think like the university. Yes, possibly. I think I think we're looking at uh, we're looking at, of course, uh, further academic collaborations, right. but also uh, potential partnerships with uh, with large pharmaceutical companies. Yes. Okay. And when do you expect to see sort of the first fruits of either sort of the Pfizer deal or, or, or the UPenn arrangement? Yeah, so I think that's going to be in a few years. Right. I think we have to give it, give, okay. give both uh, collaborations time to settle down. They're all very fresh and new, yeah. um, but um, we, we've got some pretty aggressive timelines for, for both of them. Okay, well, well, Sean, as always, it's a pleasure right. to be with you and uh, good luck with everything. Yeah.